You actually came. Let's get this over with. Before we begin, I'm a man of my word, and so a promise must be kept. Xavier what? I said, come here. When one Foundation member causes another member harm, even in service of the Purifier's will, this breeds blight and must be addressed. Ah! Now that that's done, you, our blessed, must take care of this much greater source of blight. Let us begin. What you're doing is important, Toby. You may just save us all. I'm ready. We are blighted. Our words are woe. Our deeds are wrought. But we are not lost. By hollowed blade, I draw out the affliction. Something is wrong. Wait! You two couldn't even wait for Mama to be buried? Uh, I... Let me guess. You gave her Mama's ring too. What? Is something out there? It's just Orson. I had to leave him in the car. What? Why? <sighs> he's throwing a fit. I don't know how he's going to make it through the ceremony. No, I could watch the boy. <sighs> okay. Meta could help, too. I'd rather she not. Orson doesn't know her well. Look, I just need you to make sure he doesn't go up to the casket. I don't want him to see Mama like that. The boy deserves to say goodbye to his grandmother. He's too young, Papa. He might cry about it, but you just have to be firm with him. Damn it. That's the funeral director. Just watch him for me. You owe me that much. This is Astrid. What is? Rachel, we have to finish this. We have to end the withering. Toby, 
I can't. Yes, you can. Toby, I... Don't stop being a cold-hearted bitch on me now. I made it right. I made it right. I understand you're going to say a few words. <clears throat> My mother is dead, and I am relieved. Because life with her was an unrelenting nightmare. I know that's probably not what you came to hear. But it's the truth. And I'm tired of covering up for her behavior with lies and smiles. That's not what life was like here. She was a monster. Goodbye, Mama. But I want to see her! Papa, you said you'd take care of him. Please, I have to deal with all the guests. Don't worry. You listen to me. This is hard on all of us, and you're making it harder with your whining. But, Grandma... You sit still and be quiet. This isn't about you. If it's alright with you, I suggest we move things inside. At least until this fog clears a bit. Yeah. Okay. Let me get my son. Orson? Papa? Orson? Are you there, Angel? Orson! Toby was the source of the withering. Now he's gone. But was it enough? We couldn't even finish his severing. Does that mean we're still in danger? Yes, we are. We don't know the withering is still upon us. I can feel it. I can sense it. I need time to consult Radcliffe's text. We all know Rachel has a special relationship to the Purifier. We do? Enough. Barbara's right. Go home. Get some rest. Meditate on Ratcliffe's teachings and pray to the Purifier that we can find another solution. Are you okay? I tried to make it all right, but did I do enough? The Purifier uses tribulations to test us, to build a stronger foundation within us so we can be strong enough for what comes next. Xavier, what comes next? Take Faith home. Get rest. We have more to do tomorrow. Okay. Faith, time to go. <sighs> Faith, you can finish reading. Xavier, did you see her leave? No, but... She was right here. In this sanctum. She's supposed to be safe here. Maybe she went outside to get some fresh air. Faith, where are you hiding? Come now, Faith. You're scaring Mommy. Faith! No! I can't lose her. I can't have lost her. Come on, Eric. Please pick up. If this is some kind of test of my inner strength, I don't fucking approve. Papa! Where is he? 
he... He was... Why don't you know? You wait there. I'll find him. Or Orson? <laughs> Honey, is that you? You can't escape your blood. We... We buried you. No sweet words for the monster who made your life an unrelenting nightmare? Come now. Let Mama make everything better. Oh, don't you even worry about that boy of yours. You're better off with me. Mama? Where's Orson? Thief! Mom! You fitter! Such an ungrateful child you always were! Mama? Where is Orson? <laughs> Mama! Piece of garbage. Hello? Hey man, I uh, I know you're not supposed to be talking to me and all, but I need a favor. I left you a little something behind that washing machine that's always breaking down. Should be enough for you to go to the Silver Pines and buy everybody around on me. When you do, make a toast. Tell them that Toby Sorelli said they can all go fuck themselves. <laughs> you're probably wondering, why wouldn't Toby want to revel in all this beautiful chaos himself? Because I'll be dead. Let's face it, the world's gonna be better off without me. So, I'm gonna finally do the right thing. Like you always seem to do. I just want you to know that I... Well, you're the only real friend I ever had. See you around. Come on. Pick up the phone. Hello? Toby? You'll take me to Orson, Mama? Promise? Of course. Take my hand. We will go together. I just want him to be okay. There now. Let Mama take care of things. How much further is it, Mama? Mama? Didn't see you there. You haven't seen a dog, have you? Uh, a dog? No, I'm looking for my daughter. Your daughter? Did you lose her? She, uh, must have wandered off. My pup got off the leash, and I've been trudging through this pea soup for an hour. We could look together. Maybe your kids with my dog. Yeah, okay. I've seen you before. Foundation, right? I think so. My wife used to go there. Before she died. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. I'm alright. <laughs> That's why I got the dog. Thing is, when she got sick, my wife wouldn't go see a doctor. 
She was convinced the Foundation could make her better. <sighs> I was pissed. And mostly at her. I just couldn't bring myself to forgive her. Do you think I was wrong for being so angry at her? She just wouldn't listen to me. Even as she got sicker, she was convinced the Foundation would cure her. And even though I knew they couldn't, I think some part of me was hoping it was all real. The Foundation, it... failed me too. It did? I thought you were a senior member. I... I am. It's just... I'm not sure I believe in everything they teach anymore. It sounds like you're wising up. <sighs> Wish my wife did. <sighs> they really did a number on her. Built her up. Gave her a sense of power and control, only to trick her into giving them complete control over her. <sighs> she was a shadow of herself at the end. Maybe it's time to get out before they do the same to you. You hear that? There you are. I was looking for you. Wait. Come on. Let's get you home. Stop! Ah! Ah! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Astrid? Are you out here? Astrid? It's not like her to dart off like this. <sighs> now we're searching for two people. She didn't look right. In the head, I mean. Her boy, my grandson, is missing, Ava. Astrid needs everyone's help right now. I don't think they're here to help. Of course they are. Why else would they be here? There you are, Papa. Come look. I found footprints. They're his size, right? Papa, I'm, I'm scared. I don't understand how we could just vanish. We used to play in these woods. Orson? Orson, honey, it's Mommy! Astrid, it's... It's going to be okay. Orson couldn't have gotten far. We've been searching an hour, Papa. Obviously, he did get far. We'll find him. I promise. I don't hear the group anymore. They were just over here, weren't they? Should have seen this fire from several kilometers away. It's getting so cold. Astrid, it doesn't feel safe here. We should find the others no. and. I can keep going. Angel, I need you to listen to me. If we stay out here much longer, we could die from exposure. And what about Orson? He's alone and scared. And he, he could be just beyond those trees. Or maybe they've found him and he's waiting for us back at the house. Fine. Go back then. You'd only slow me down anyway. Whatever you decide, decide quick. I don't like the feeling of these ones. for Toby Sorelli. Have you seen him? I want to buy a round of drinks. 
Excuse me. Hey, I need to say something. Next round's taken care of. Courtesy of Toby Sorelli. I'm pretty sure he's never coming back here, but he left a message for all of you. Go fuck yourselves. Yeah, fuck him too. My cousin died because of that asshole. Thanks for the drink. Can I return the favor? Thought the Foundation looked down on drinking. Never stopped me before. I should get to work. Xavier! Rachel? Rachel, what's wrong? It's Faith. She, she's gone. What do you mean she's gone? I'm being punished for doubting our teachings. I know it. Just breathe. There may be a logical explanation for this. No, there isn't. You've seen it out there. The withering is getting worse. And now... And now my daughter's lost out there. Or worse. Where's Eric? Does he know? No. I don't know where he is. Then you have to find him. Tell him that Faith is gone. He'll be able to help. I'm afraid he'll blame me for losing her. Just tell him that his daughter's missing. You don't need to tell him anything else. What if it's not enough? It will be. You just need to have as much faith in your husband as he has in you. You missed a spot. <laughs> Thanks. That was quite the show you put on back at the bar. Is there something you want? Because I've got work to do. Yeah, it's about Toby. I figured Rachel wouldn't tell you, but I thought you should know what happened to him. Well, where is he? Shit! What, what the hell is this? I'm sorry, Astrid. I don't think I can go on. Let's go back to the house. See if they found him. Astrid, please. We need to go home. <sighs> okay. Let's go back. Orson could be there waiting for us. And if he isn't? We'll rest up, and then come back, and, and we'll... This way. Shouldn't be long now. Orson? Orson! Papa, let go of me! Orson! Orson! What was that? The evil I was telling you about. Now do you believe me? Don't move. Breathe? 